for basketball. Fast and furious. Here they come. You came to the right place. Doubleheader basketball action live from Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Des Moines. The 1989 Iowa Girls State Basketball Championships. Ankeny and Atlantic in the Sweet 16. They're down to two. Our first game tonight. Durant and Muscatine will be going after the five-player championships. I'm Mike Newell along with Mike Henderson. We'll have the play-by-play -play report. Mike, how does this first one stack up? Durant against Muscatine. Well, here's a pair of Eastern Iowa favors, Mike Newell. The, ch the favorite coming into the field, number one rated Muscatine, 24-0. They've been top rated through the entire season. On the other hand, Durant, the Cinderella team of the field. They come in at 22-2. The smallest school, they have 169 students. Before have they proven they can play. They've beaten Des Moines Roosevelt and unbeaten Cedar Rapids Reaches. An imposing force up the middle for the Wildcats from Durant. Let's now take a look at Stacy McCobin. Well, Stacy McCobin is just one of the six outstanding seniors for Coach John Ibeling. She's an all-stater in both volleyball and softball, along with basketball, a force to be reckoned with inside. Now the Muskies from Muscatine are number one rated in five-player basketball. They're coming in here loaded as well. Well, they certainly are, and their leader is the senior forward, power forward, Mavera Riviera. She's an all-stater. She's a good one. Plays at both ends of the floor, leads the tournament and steals, one of the leading scorers. You're going to like the way she plays. Later on, it's going to be Ankeny against Atlantic in the six-player title game. Coming up next, Durant and Muscatine, the five-player title game. George Turner will have those starting lineups in just one moment. This is the now let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's five-player championship of 1989. First, the visiting team, the Muscatine Muskies. The forwards, number 53, Maribel Rivera. Number 33, Tara Drake. The guards, number 11, Kim Griffin. Number 21, Barb Cole. Number 45, Sarah Anderson. The assistant coaches, Jeff Tank. And Don Schroeder. And the head coach of the Muscatine Muskies, Randy Ward. Now the starters for the Durant Wildcats. The forwards, number 44, Lori Kappeler. Number 50, Becky Schoenig. Number 54, Stacy McCobin. The guards, number 22, Christy Langbeam. And number 10, Amy Lilienthal. The assistant coach, Leanne Bolum. And the head coach of the Durant Wildcats, John Ibeling. Lenny Y and Gerald Kramer. Bench official, Bob Hildebrand. Chief scorer, Bill Hennessy. Chief timer, Dale Peterson. Assistant timer, Nolan Laird. Assistant timer, Arnold Espy. So we're 
are set for basketball action. That's the five-player championship. The Muskies from Muscatine at 24-0 and number one in the state. Let's take a look at the comparisons as they match up against the Durant Wildcats at 22 and 2. Both teams shooting near the 50% range from the field. And you see the edge for Muscatine as they give up less than 40 points per basketball game. Mike, this is going to be a good one. That was the state leading defensive average, of course, for Muscatine while Durant ranked third. There's the way Muscatine got here, beating Benton in the quarterfinal Monday, then a 77-62 win yesterday. Durant, as we mentioned before, the giant killers, they beat Des Moines Roosevelt, 51-48, then upset unbeaten Cedar Rapids Regis of yesterday. And the tip is controlled by Stacy McCobin and left to right in front of us in the home whites will be the Wildcats from Durant. McCobin to the high post. And we're underway from Vets Auditorium in Des Moines. Lots of basketball action tonight. This is the five player championship game and we are just underway. And here come the Muskies. They're in their road purple with gold and white trim. Working out of the point guard position. You see a lot of fire gold. Matched up with Kim Griffin. This is Griffin. But Tobin gets the first rebound for Durant. And this will be Christy Langbein. Amy Lilienthal. Lori Kepler. Langbin. And that's Lillian Ball to run it down. See the man-to-man -man defense for Muscatine. Langbin. That was Kampler off to Lillian Ball. And now the set shot from out on top. That's Becky Shanick. And just like that, we're underway. We're going to have a lot of points up on the board tonight. Right, Mike. we're going to have pressure from both teams all over the place. Maribel Rivera answers for Muscatine. Leading scorer at 19.1 for the Muskies. And a 2 2 ball game. William Ball, Kapler, Lineman. And McCobin got the rebound, but a foul will be called on Stacy McCobin. Beyond McCobin, she was over the back of number 33, Tara Drake. Here we'll see. Drake moving into the rebounding position. McCobin, this is the big redhead, 54 over her back. Number 33 for Muscatine. And the matchup tonight is Tara Drake. Here's Drake. And back in the air. Drake got her own rebound to make this a 4-2 ball game. And Muscatine handles the press very well both times down on the floor, Mike. Langman out front working against Kim Griffin. Good head fake, but it's going to cost dragging the pivot. And the floor violation. Now, you'll notice that Muscatine does not have the size at the center position that Durant has. They do in just a little while, though, because That's we're right. going to look for a scoop for freshman in a while. That's right. Fire pole. And the Sam handle the press from up there, do Yep. And the foul on the inbounds pass, as it says to Kim Griffin. It's her first. Let's take we'll a look. look at it. Langbean, who's really tough, comes up to get the ball. Griffin gets her. Langbean has really impressed people with her floor knowledge and her headiness throughout this tournament. And here she comes, Christy Langbean, 5'4 senior, averaging 13.9 per game. That's Rivera with the rebound and to lead the breakaway, three on two. And there to get the errant pass is Tara Drake. 
And a six-point lead for Muscatine in the early going. Not quite halfway through the first quarter. That was a big basket. Shaney second on the game. Shaney has four. And now a four-point lead. Muscatine. Maribel Rivera. Kim Griffith. And it shakes loose coming up with it. That's Shanick. Here are the Wildcats from Durant. They're into this one at two and two out of the Eastern Iowa Hawkeye Conference. 17th rated in the state. First appearance ever in state tournament play. That was Langman. The rebound is cleared by Sarah Anderson. Now Rivera will be called for traveling. Yep. Of course, the Durant fans were wanting it to pass the four on Sarah Anderson. But Randy Ward, he's unbeaten for this season, going for the state championship. And on the other bench, in the middle, John Ibley. That's Leanne Bowen on his right. Let's go upstairs and see that full court pressure that Muscatine is putting down on Durant. Christy Langman. That's Randy Ward who says, don't chase her, play defense with your feet. Langman again. And the foul is whistled on Kim Griffin. That's her second in the early going. Okay, we're going to see the quickest of Langby getting into the baseline. We saw the arm catcher. 11 got her on the arm. Gets out. They got into the paint. 8-4 ball game. Muscatine with the lead. Durant with the ball. Later on, the six-player championship. Atlantic and Ankeny. Triggering on the inbounds play is Lori Kepler. Tara Drake brings down the rebound. And you can start booking up on number 55, Mike. He's at the story table. An amazing story. Muscatine triggers in the person of Barb Cole and on the rebound, a foul underneath. That's Anderson, Sarah Anderson. Right, that's the third team foul on Muscatine. We'll have a replacement coming on to the lineup for Muscatine and a tall, tall story here. And we'll talk about her in just a moment. 308 remains in the first. Muscatine 8, Durant 4, and we'll be back right after these messages. 